Hey guys, go some for the one here. I am welcome back to another video today people today I'll be doing another Wi-Fi battle on my channel now This guy pulled you right here is a very good battler. He brought Esper, which is weird We were playing new you but then again Mastic is are you a lower tier? So I don't understand why he brought a Mastic. Anyways, let's get straight into this battle Now guys, I did get a new mic So if you guys hear a difference, it's because yes, I got a new mic and my voice sounds a little better and I just wanted to do it because I wanted better quality YouTube videos. But anyways, back into this battle. I didn't really predict him to go anything, so I just brought out my champ, and he goes out to his Esper and brings out the fake out. Now, this was kind of just a free turn because I did nothing. And right here, I went for a science move and wanted to see how much Esper could do to him a champ, so I stayed in and went for a knockoff. Now, the knockoff killed. I don't think this crit right here mattered because... Honestly, it's a super effective knockoff from a Machamp onto an Esper. First evolution from a final evolution attack. Nah, you could you could see how much damage it could do. So, anyways, he brings out his Mr. Wayne, his Crobat, and I bring out my Bacterian. Now, I knew Bacterian was able to tank this shot from the Bray Word easy peasy. So it was a great switch in for me. He takes some real coil damage, but gains it back from the Black Sludge. And I also get some Black Sludge health back, making that health like nothing. Or that damage like nothing. Now, he withdraws his Mr. Wayne here into his Vaporeon. Now, this Vaporeon can do some work onto my uh, Bacterian, so I didn't really want to keep it in. But I went for the burn off on the Vaporeon first. I was hoping to get on the Crobat because I didn't know if he knew if I got a Lewis Burn off on Bacterian, but he knew, so he switched into the Vaporeon. Now, I switch out here because I'm like, I'm having none of that vap of that Vaporeon. And I switch out into my Starmine, predicting the Scald. Now, yes, I didn't switch into my Blissey because I want to switch into an actual attacker so I can get some damage off on this Vaporeon because this thing's a tank and a half. So, he gets some leftover damage here and gets the burn, so the leftover didn't really matter. Now, I go for the Psychic here. I don't know why I didn't go for the Thunderbolt. I was guessing I thought he was going to switch out into, like, Cubone or something or Marowak. So, he went, stayed in and actually went for a Heal Bell. Now, if I went for a Thunderbolt, it probably would have died this next Thunderbolt I did right here. Sadly, he actually lived this Thunderbolt with, like, 0 HP. Like, 1 HP, honestly. It was really stupid. I was kind of getting mad at this point in the match because I was like, I could have killed him if I used double Thunderbolt and didn't predict incorrectly. But what you gonna do? You're gonna make some bad plays. Now, he goes for a Wish here, and he also gets the Leftover back. Now, he goes for a protect, and I'm like, okay, no, man, bruh, you can't do this to me. You can't do this. You can't just go and do that. I was hoping for him to actually switch out into something else so he could heal something else, but he didn't have anything to heal because he's only used his Crobat, which isn't really damaged, Vaporeon, and then his Esper, which is dead. Now, he switches out into his executor here and I go for a thunderbolt because I really wanted that thing dead but he predicted that and he got like zero damage off on his Pokemon right there now since I knew he was my Starmine was gonna die from a Giga Drain I just switched out into my Jolteon predicting this now this man right here went for a substitute which I was surprised on because I didn't think he would go for that I thought he was gonna go for like Giga Drain or something but I go for the signal beam here again, that four times super effective attack off on the executor, taking away his sub and fading it away. Now he goes for a leech seed and I avoid it, which is pretty damn lucky. But he gets that executor out of there because he knows he cannot live a signal beam whatsoever. Now he predicted me to go for signal beam and switch down to my uh, into his crowbat. Now I predicted him to go out to his crowbat and went for a thunderbolt. This was an amazing play because I got a huge threat off of his team right away, making a, it a 6-2-3 lead if I'm not mistaken. Or now he switches out into his Porygon 2 or Porygon. Yeah, his Porygon Z here. And I went for a Volt Switch. I honestly should have went for a Thunderbolt because maybe he wouldn't have been out, able to set up this sub right here, which he does right now. And which was honestly a really big play on his part, but it didn't really matter in the end because I went Mega Aerodactyl here. And since Mega Aerodactyl is so strong with that Tough Claw ability and also with the crunch, stab crunch on that substitute, it fades away his sub. And 
he does get a super strong attack here, which you honestly wouldn't think he would do. I thought he was going to go for Thunderbolt, but no. He went for a Power Gem. God damn. Hi stab Hiker Beam. Which didn't kill my Mega Al uh, Aerodactyl. No, it did not kill. And I got a crunch off taking this thing out. Now, when he used this Hyper Beam, I thought it was game over from there. I thought, like, this thing's gonna sweep me with that thing. My freaking uh, Aerodactyl was gonna die from that. But no, he lived. He tanked it easily. Even with that frailness and took out two of his, or one of his Pokemon there. Sorry about that, guys. Now, I go for a crunch on his Vaporeon, and he goes for a Scald, taking out my Aerodactyl. Now, at this point, it is a 4 to 3 lead, if I'm not, or a 4 to 2 lead, if I'm not mistaken. If I can count correctly. And, I bring out my Jolteon here, because I'm like, okay, let's just, let's just take this thing out now. I do not want to make this match go on anymore, I want to take it out with a Thunderbolt easy. But he prolongs this freaking battle, and goes for a Protect. Which sucks. I really hated how he won for this. And he also gets that leftover health and then switches out because he's a troll. But he predicted correctly and brought out his mother. Now this is a really great name for a Marowak. I really love it. Uh, but I didn't get any damage off of him which really honestly super sucked. And I bring out my Starmie here and Double Edge sadly just BAM. Takes me out easily. I was like, okay, no, that was a stupid play on my part. I shouldn't sack my Starmie. I could have used that later on in the battle, but uh, I wasn't thinking at the time. So I bring out my, my Machamp. I should have went for a Bullet Punch, but I did not because I thought Machamp might have been able to outspeed Marowak, which I was incorrect on. Now it's pretty much a 3 2 2 lead. Now I counted earlier horribly wrong, so sorry about that, guys. But he goes for a knockoff here, taking out my leftovers. Now, I didn't know if I was going to live or not. I thought he was just going to take me out here and there, but he did not. I should have went for a will which kind of sucks, which I couldn't go for here because he po I poisoned him with Sludge Bomb, which was the worst luck I can ever get. But I switch out into my Swag C here, and he goes for a double edge. And at this point, I'm like, okay, it's game. I can't, I can't live these. He's going to kill me easily. He's going to sweep me with this Marowak. I honestly didn't know how to deal with a Marowak because I've never fought a Marowak in my life until this point right here. I started using Marowak, Marowak after this battle, but at this point or at this point of the battle when this was happening, I didn't know what to do. So I switched back into my Bacterian, have that Levitate ability, not taking any of that um, ground type moves. He goes for another, du another double edge. Taking out my Bacterium. Now, this man right here doesn't even die. I was trying to stall him out with the poison, but it did not work, sadly. And I bring out my Jolteon. I should have done this earlier and maybe taken him out with a Shadow Ball, but I never thought of it. I shouldn't have sacked my Weezing. I would have had one extra Pokemon. But I was I was stupid at the time and wasn't thinking correctly because I was streaming. Now he sends back out his executor, and I'm like, okay, I can turn this around easily. His Marowak's gone. Let's use a signal beam. Take this out with a times four super effective attack. Now since his executor went down, he only has this Vaporeon left. And at this point, I made a big turnaround. He goes for protect here again, making this battle ten times longer than it actually needs to. And the Thunderbolt misses because goddamn protect shields. Goddamn protect shields. Now he gains a little bit of health back from leftovers, and it doesn't really matter at this point because I use Thunderbolt and take him out. This man right here was a really good battler. He was super good. GG well played, man. GG well played. Pull do. Um, hopefully I value you again. Hopefully you saw this video. I told you I was going to put on YouTube sooner or later. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi Oris battle on my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing more in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed my new mic. Um, sorry if I sound a bit tired, guys. I haven't really slept for around uh, 16 hours, and I wanted to record something and bring something up on YouTube before I went to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you did, shoot that like button with the comment. Yeah.